that's what I call spending stupid money. <laughs> How y'all doing? I'm Big Al, and welcome back to the garage. If you're new here, please take a moment to mash that subscribe button and mash that like button. Today we are going to be back with my 65 Chevy Corvair. Some updates. First and foremost, I attended a meeting of the local Corsa chapter today. Picked up four of these new old stock shock absorbers, 25 bucks a piece probably much better quality than the Chinesium stuff you get today and significantly cheaper. Not only am I not paying more per shock, I'm also not paying for shipping. But that is going to have to wait till uh, the temperature is not like the surface of Venus. No, nah, it's much too hot to be working on that stuff right now. That's going to wait till the fall time. Or at least that's the lie I tell myself because it usually gets hectic around then and I disappear off the face of the planet. Tonight, we're going to do something a little simpler. The uh, Corvairs usually have some chrome trim that runs along the top of the rocker panel. And my car is missing that. But, getting that trim is about a hundred bucks. I don't feel like spending that kind of money on cosmetic things. That's what I call spending stupid money. Corvairs in pristine condition are maybe worth 20,000 bucks at the absolute maximum. Ergo, it is spending stupid money to dump thousands of dollars into them. So we are going to replace that chrome trim on the cheap. Yes, I went down that aisle at O'Reilly's. We got some of this peel and stick chrome trim. Kind I used to use on the old high school hot rod. Thought I was looking cool. But I'm not going to go crazy sticking it all over the car like I did in high school. We're going to do something that kind of approximates the look of the trim. And if I don't like it, I always take it off. It was only 20 bucks. So let's get to it. Okay, so I've got about 12 feet of this stuff. And what I want to do is cut a, I guess, a notch or something or make this pointy. I don't know what the terminology is. <laughs> it's been a long day. So, I'm going to get a ruler right over here. Nice, actually, having my tools in reach. What a luxury. So, we're going to go an inch down and an inch across. It is actually not an inch thick, like they say. Probably closer to three quarters. Oh, yeah. Nope. One inch down is here. Now, let's measure across. Yep. I'm just going to eyeball it. And just take a pair of scissors. So here's what I did. Here's how I marked it. And of course, red on red. Not easy to see. Take my, uh, my wife's good scissors. Don't tell anybody or I'll spend the night on the couch. And we're just going to cut. Cut. Not bad. Now we'll actually get this on the car kind of mocked up and do the other end. We also have to wipe the car's rocker panel down with some alcohol to strip off the uh, ceramic coat. Okay, maybe that doesn't look the best, but... Hmm, it'll be a good 20-footer anyway. Alright, so we're gonna, there's holes along here where that trim is supposed to attach. We're just going to go along here, the little 91% alcohol. And... Just give the, get that ceramic coat off so that that has something to stick to. Like I said, if this doesn't look good, I'll just peel it back off. And now 20 bucks. Okay, so this stuff is pretty easy to put on. You just 
take the backing off and stick it on. This is actually going to look pretty good, I think. Okay. Peeling the backing off may be the hardest part of this operation. Okay, so this, uh, the, this and the exhaust tips. I have two high school hot rod stuff. Things on this car. Stuff I swore I never would do, but... Like I said, it does not make sense to spend a fortune on a car that I, A, didn't pay a lot for, and B, it's never going to be a Concours quality car. Now, you're better off on a car like this that's not worth a whole lot of money in pristine condition is to focus your resources on the mechanicals, making it safe, making it reliable, so that you actually have a nice driver. Wow, this backing is stubborn. All right, I had to get a razor blade under it to uh, get it going. Let's just do this a little at a time, because I do want it to actually go on straight. That's actually going to look really nice, I think. gonna look good. Alright. Hope I bought enough of it to go buy more. I'm only gonna do one side on camera because you kinda get the idea. Get it on nice and straight and I think it's gonna look half decent. I don't think I'm gonna have do the other end. Also gonna need my wife's scissors again. <laughs> it might be close. That's where it's gonna end. Oh, I do have the scissors here. It is a rare episode of Big Al's Garage when I actually bring all the tools over. Good thing is this stuff is sufficiently cheap that I can often redo it. process from earlier. Do one inch and one inch. Exactly the most precise way of doing it, but whatever works, right? All right. So, but yeah, like I'm saying. Spend your money, you know, on the mechanical stuff, make the car safe and reliable, and have a nice driver. Cosmetic stuff, that's why we use tractor paint and turbo cans. And that, wow, this actually looks really good. Alright, can't wait to get a look at it. Ah, that looks really good. Is it Concord quality? Heck no. 
But is it acceptable for cars and coffee or cruise night? Absolutely. There you have it, folks. At least I got the driver's side of the car done. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough to do the passenger side, so I'll have to run to O'Reilly's and get some more. Anyway, that is it for tonight. Please, once again, mash that subscribe button, mash that like button. I will catch you on the next installment.